Hello, my soccer universe. Well, 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 the Champions League draw gave us, I would say, uh, the two rematches of recent finals, one of which doubles up as an eternal classic and one between two of the best teams that the competition has even seen. And it also, and most important for me, it prevents us from having a Manchester City Bayern Munich final. Uh, that did not happen exactly the way that I wanted it to happen, but at least uh, we got that. And uh, the only reason is because I, yeah, I don't have sympathies for either, big sympathies for either of these teams. Uh, and yeah, I don't, I just thought, I just think if, uh, if uh, the final between those two would have happened, I wouldn't like it. Although they are clearly the two best teams left in the car competition, but we will get maybe this matchup uh, in the semi-finals, so that's exciting. We could also get an all German matchup. Uh, the semi-final draw also leaves us quite with the interesting matchup. So, uh, let's, I would say let's run through it, but before that, yeah, I think, and I will prove it to you a little bit later, I think that Chelsea is the winner of the draw. Uh, I also put the Chelsea jersey up there. I decided on, on, on the white one. The light blue City jersey is in the wash, so I decided to put the away jersey. Then you have a uh, Chelsea away jersey. And yes, Chelsea was wearing Fly Emirates before Mourinho arrived. Uh, I bought this at Stamford Bridge. And I even want to say that the original Fly Emirates team, very, very weird. What a stadium does to you. Let's get to the draw. Uh, so we had the following pots and the first matchup out was already Manchester City came came first against Borussia Dortmund. Yeah, I want Bayern. Okay, Dortmund. It's pretty clear who is the favorite. However, I think that thanks to Holland, uh, Pep Guardiola will have a lot to think about this and you know how he likes to overthink quarterfinals in the Champions League. So interesting one to come out first. The second one is the, in a way, throwaway tie with, between Porto and Chelsea. However, it's a little bit a Jose Mourinho matchup because, you know, those are the uh, two teams that are arguably Jose Mourinho and Baby to see a reputation on winning a Champions League with Porto and then coming into Chelsea right after winning that one. So I think uh, it's a blue, <laughs> a blue derby, uh, but it's clearly the one where you uh, say they are the clearest um, favorite there. Uh, third one was kind of the big one up until this point. I mean, at that point, you knew that Bayern uh, will not get Porto. Uh, Dortmund, which they would also have seen probably as an easy opponent, is out. So it was only tough opponents. They get a rematch for last year's final against PSG. Probably not, un not, not too unhappy with that one, given how PSG was playing as of late. But you know, with PSG, it's always the danger uh, if they can pull it together. Might be dangerous still. Bayern Munich, I would say, heavily favored in that one as well. Heavily, very much the favorite. Let's say very much the favorite in that one, which left us with the classic Real Madrid against Liverpool, a rematch of the 2018 final, and I think also the, two th the 1981 final, if I'm not completely mistaken. Uh, one time Liverpool won in 81, and in 18 Real Madrid won. Um, yeah, that, Gar that Gareth Bale goal and that goalkeeping mistakes, although we know now he was having um, a knock on his head by Sergio Ramos, which completely changed the trajectory of the, of the game. So I think there's um, quite something to play for. I wish there would have been some fans out because I think Sergio Ramos would not enjoy playing at Anfield. Or he might actually enjoy this quite much. Then the semi-final and the quarter-final draw came in again. I think it was Manchester City come, coming out first and for the second one I was really... Oh no, the Bayern game was come, coming out first and then I was really hoping please beat Manchester City, please beat Manchester City and it was. And so we get the following uh, bracket for the quarter-final and beyond. Bayern against PSG will play the winner of Manchester City Dortmund. I think all four matchups there are some storylines. Uh, Bayern Dortmund is the most obvious one. Um, Bayern against Manchester City, Guardiola. Uh, PSG against Man Man Manchester City. I think those are the kind of the two teams that are, you know, the newly rich ones with the big money owner. Owner, so very interesting there as well. Qatari against the Emirates. So uh, intriguing. Let's put it that way. 
for me as an Austrian, it's really hard to say it, but I have to say in both ties, the Germans are the good guys. Has to be said. But I think it also pales a little bit in comparison to the lower one because Real Madrid, uh, Liverpool and Porto Chelsea, I mean, that sounds a little bit... I mean, they're not the better teams in there, but it sounds historically a little bit better, especially, I mean, Real Madrid, Liverpool is just a classic. But even if Liverpool would play Chelsea in the semis, that is such a classic in the semifinal, so at least that part of the draw, of my dream draw, materialized that we could have that one. Even think Real Madrid, Chelsea, although not as historically charged, is an interesting matchup for sure. So yeah, with all that, we can now uh, look uh, who, are the, who are the favorites? Uh, what, what's the impact of the, of, of the draw? And I want to first give you the chances that we had of um, before the draw. And you see Manchester City pretty much clear ahead of Bayern Munich, Chelsea, and they are also sorted kind of in order of strength uh, of uh, remaining of the remaining teams. So City, uh, the strongest, then Bayern, then Chelsea, then Liverpool. Let's look at the new probabilities. Chelsea going ahead of Bayern. Not only Porto, but you avoid Manchester City and Bayern is crashing against Man Manchester City, which gives Bayern a huge dent in their chances of reaching the final. Uh, it jumps from... Uh, no, it, it remains roughly the same, but um, still having Man Manchester City there and it remains roughly the same because you Bayern, Bayern play an opponent they are supposed to beat. Uh, I also find it interesting that Real Madrid jumps ahead of Liverpool because they're slightly favored over Liverpool uh, and then yeah stays stays amount the same but Chelsea clearly gets the biggest boost from from that all for winning it uh, they go from 15 to 19 whereas Manchester City is actually slightly increased by one percent uh, because they are so heavily favored over Dortmund not because they have to pay play Bayern in the semis and then we have the uh, dates uh, for these games are also already released. Um, we'll start with the big one. The Real Madrid against Liverpool is on the first match day. Then we get by get by and PSG on the second one. Um, and, and of course, Manchester City and Liverpool will play at the same time, and uh, Chelsea is, and Bayern will play at the same time, so, so that we don't have the semifinals playing with each other. And then they flip the date, so uh, we will first know who will advance between PSG and Bayern, and then between Liverpool and Real Madrid. And I put on purpose the focus on these two games. So yeah, let me know what you thought uh, about the draw, uh, whether, whether you think it's a fair draw, whether you like it or not. I would not call, call it a fair draw because it does not keep the favorites nicely apart. However, as I outlined, I'm actually quite not quite unhappy about that one. So yeah, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the little bell icon so that you get, I get updated whenever something is happening in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!